All right, so <laughs> I've been accused of being a heretic for re for remapping uh, control B uh, to control A and Tmux. And I just want to state why I did that real quick for my friends out there and for Mac. Uh, I did that only because I was raised on screen. And any of you, yeah, and that's the reason. Um, because I was <laughs> because I was raised on screen. Uh, yep. And the reason for that is because when I get onto a, my fingers, know the screen escapes. Okay, and Control B to me is a little annoying because it's a little farther away to hit and everything. Uh, it also uh, it so that is one of the things that I am okay with. Uh, I I I use Tmux as a replacement for screen. It was actually I was actually uh, I actually searched and found many many other people do the same thing. Almost all of them are you know were techs in the eighties and nineties, and so they use screen their whole life. It's also the reason that when I like look at something, I use more. Instead of less, you know, sue me <laughs> because I, I was raised to use more. So I am just going to own it. Uh, I want my Tmux to act like screen. Uh, I use screen for 20 minutes, And if I use, uh, if I can use the default, so can you. Uh, I, I don't like, do you know what? I don't like control B. I don't like it. I actually, here's another secret. I actually save control B. I use control B. For my parent, yeah. So what? Uh, I use Control B for my for my parent, and I use Control A for the the internal Tmux. I have Tmux Tmux is right. That's how I'm doing what I'm doing right here. Is I actually have a Tmux that's inside of another Tmux. Uh, I know you can do that. You can cross those streams just fine, and that's why I do that. Uh, in fact, actually, uh, that is a reason you might want to keep the default. So I'm not going to tell you I have a strong opinion about this. This is more of a personal preference. Um, if you if you want to, so here's there's arguments both ways, by the way. So for example, uh, the argument goes that you want to use Tmux on your home system, and when you log into a remote system, that's I don't know, running a Minecraft server or something, uh, you want to use Screen on that system because Tmux isn't installed on that remote system, right? But Screen probably is, and you just want to use Screen for all the normal reasons, just so that you can have it, you know, up and uh, you know, connectable and it doesn't go down when you disconnect and all that, all those reasons that you would want to use a terminal multiplexer. Um, and if you keep the default mappings uh, for for Tmux, uh, your fingers will know what to do uh, on your own system. And then when you get on the remote system, you can use screen for over there and they won't... Conf uh, the, uh, every other Tmux change that I've made, I'm going to confess, is out, of, is out of mnemonic ease. So again, I'm teaching 10-year-olds how to use Tmux sometimes. And so I've changed that. I think that's stupid that they put the percent sign for splits and stuff. I, I use the bar and the backslash for splitting. And I use the dash and the underlo underline for splitting this way. And um, I, I'm going to tell you straight up, it goes against every argument I've ever made for using the defaults so that they'll be the same when your fingers will just know the right thing to do when you get on another system. Uh, however, when it comes to Tmux, I'm going to invoke the Emacs privilege, which is I use Tmux every day, all day on the same system. To me, Tmux is my Emacs, if that makes sense. Okay, so to me, Tmux is my Emacs. It is my IDE. And as you can see, you see me using it all the time. I'm switching between panes and everything. And so every argument anybody ever makes for setting up their own uh, mnemonic, you know, hotkeys and all the stuff that they love to do with Emacs or VI even or Vim, uh, all of the all of the argument for being able to do that on your own system and be hyper productive on your Dvorak keyboard like Promegian, you know, that kind of stuff kind of dismisses the entire idea that I want to be reliable everywhere and says, I just want to be really efficient on this computer right now. And that's how I am with Tmux. I, Tmux is my Emacs. Let's put it that way. Tmux is my Emacs. That means I feel for, I feel justified to do some really crazy customizations to the thing. And I have. God knows I have. Look, you're looking at them. <laughs> I mean, the stuff at the top and the corner, the paint sizes, uh, all the remappings and everything. I'm actually running a Tmux inside of Tmux. Uh, I have like I have like macros set up that will send keystrokes to a specific pane. You know, all kinds of stuff that none of it would ever work on a remote system. However. If I connect to that remote system from here, uh, it all still works. And I'm not familiar with a way to do that in Emacs. Uh, can you, you guys know if you can run an SSH connection through Emacs? Um, 
to sure I don't mind window can reconfiguration but never remap keys uh oh I yeah I I hear you Mac but on that one I'm just going to I'm just going to just going to be a bad person and say I I'm I want my keys <laughs> because I am so used to using screen I know you caught me you totally caught me but I've been public about it before you can SSH remote from Emacs is called tramp mode. Uh, it is? Okay, I had a feeling it was something like that. I mean, you know, it's an operating system, so why not? I'm actually a GCP client, so yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, to me, my idea of, you know, like, my replacement for Emacs is to use Tmux, make a new pane, SSH over, you know, cut and paste. You can cut and paste between, I mean, it's it's not too far of an exaggeration to say that, uh, you know, Tmux plus a really configured, well-configured Vim is effectively the same thing as emacs in many ways because it's you know it's got highly customized things i'm using filters that are my own shell scripts that only exist on my computer the difference is, is that i can port all of that stuff to any other system anytime i want um and i don't get the sense that that's as easy to do with emacs but i can be wrong i don't use it um the exception proves the rule uh that's probably true yeah um i don't know i mean right now mac i have to use both control b and control a so I'm going to stick with that uh, uh, to custom writing list code to customize your Emacs. Yeah, lots of people love that. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, that I highly respect that are in that camp. That is not me, but I know a lot of people who love that. So let me just put a thumbtack in this one. Uh, uh, Control-A, I'm going to put a minus 